before we start building models, let's spend a little bit of time talking about navigating our way around the Maya interface. So opened up Maya to a completely blank new scene and you can see the grid here and this will give us kind of reference as we start to move around before we get any geometry into our scene. So the first thing we'll talk about is navigating around our viewport. So when we're working in 3D and especially in here this is the perspective view we can rotate around our model to see what it's looking like. So to do that we'll hold down the alt key and the left mouse button will allow us to tumble or orbit around. The middle mouse button will allow us to track or pan around our scene, kind of move around that way. And then either the right mouse button or the left and middle mouse buttons together will allow us to dolly in and out of our scene. Okay, so those uh, mouse key combinations along with the Alt key will allow us to navigate. You can also access those uh, by going into the camera tools. You can access those tools as well if you want to use those separately. Okay, so that allows us to navigate around. Now we're looking at a single viewport here. If we hit the space bar, we can go to our kind of split view, to our quad view. So we've got a top view, front view, side view. This is a really nice thing about working in 3D is the fact that you can view your model from several different angles at once and see how things are matching up. To get back to your single view, select that view and hit the space bar and you can maximize that. Now we'd like to get some geometry into the scene. So Maya provides a number of different ways to get geometry into our scene. Uh, one of the, the nicest ways to kind of quickly get pieces of geometry in is to use primitives. And those are just basic shapes that you can start from to build your models. So to, to create those, we'll go to create. And then you can see there's two different kinds, uh, or actually three different kinds. We'll concentrate on these top two though. And we'll talk about those a little bit later. For now, let's go ahead and just go to polygon primitives. And we've got interactive creation turned on. I believe that's on by default. So if you were to select, let's say, a cylinder, it would allow you to come in and draw out the base of the cylinder on the, with the left mouse button, release, and then you'll be able to drag up the height of the cylinder. Okay? We'll delete that with the delete key. And alternatively, sometimes I like to turn this interactive creation off, and then you can just select one of these primitives, and I'll pop it right into the middle of the scene. Now, if it's small like this, you could try to move in on it, but a quick way to kind of focus in on a specific object is to hit F on your keyboard. And that'll bring it right up into your view so you can kind of move around it now. You can see that right now it's see-through. We call this wireframe view. If we want to see it in a shaded view, we can go to shading, smooth shade all. We can also use the number keys on our keyboard. So four will take us to wireframe, five will take us to a shaded mode. Now this is a polygon object, so it's made up of uh, components. We'll talk about those components uh, in just a second. So right now we're in object mode, okay? So you can see here there's a couple of buttons up at the top, and the color of the wireframe changes depending on what I've selected. So right now we can access the object as a whole. We can move it around, we can rotate it, which we'll talk about in a second, but we can't change the shape of it. In order to change the shape, we need to access its components, which we can do by going to component mode here, or we can right click and choose a component that we'd like to select. Polygons are basically made up of three different components, edges, a vertex or vertices for multiples, and faces. So a vertex is the point in space, an edge are the lines connecting the different vertices, and the faces are the visible part of the polygon. All right, now transforming our objects, we're gonna use transform tools which can be accessed using W, for translate or move, and you can see this corresponds to our channel box in the X, Y, and Z for all of these. We can grab a handle, move this around, we can move it around like this. If we hit the E key, that'll take us to rotate, and we can grab the gizmo and rotate it in different ways. Or we can grab the, hit the R key to go to scale, and that'll allow us to scale things up and down. You can see all of those changes have been reflected in our channel box. If you'd like to kind of take this back to default, you can go ahead and take any of these and just put in the default setting and that's that'll take it back to zero in those. Now scale, you want to not take to zero, you want to take to one because that's full scale. And then anything over one is going to be larger, obviously. Anything smaller is going to be smaller. Down to zero would be nothing. Okay, you can also move, oops, you can do that. You can also move around the components. So quickly going to component mode, I could 
grab to select some points, just dragging a marquee across those, hit W to go to move, and I can move those points around. So that's how we're going to, to kind of move the object and also the components around within our scenes. Okay, and you can go ahead and from the top view or from the side view, you can use these to move and manipulate your uh, components and also your objects to get the exact look that you want. All right, so that's just a quick primer on selecting, on moving things around, navigating in Maya. So let's really dig in in the next lesson and talk a little bit about polygon modeling. So let's go ahead and do that next. <music>